Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and today's episode focuses on the class of 1944. This yearbook is dedicated to Mr. Delgado, head of the music department. ROTC has a very rigorous year as World War II rages on. This yearbook establishes the Terrier's name as Terry, and he is upset because he's hearing all of this anti-American propaganda coming from Germany. The Hillsborian staff decides to set Hitler straight and state things such as, our girls are prettier, our boys fight harder, and our architecture is from France. It is Gothic, it is not German. The students are dealing with things such as rationing, knowing that many of their friends are fighting overseas, and some of these students are actually already helping out in the war effort, and so they need their schedules adjusted. Miss Hoyt, the Dean of Girls, is actually tutoring some students in German as they hope to go into Army Intelligence. Nevertheless, the students are trying to have as normal of a year as is possible. This is the January graduation held on the football field, and we are fortunate to have access to some of the remarks made by Principal Gaither. Principal Gaither's advice for a good life is to have good character, good health, a good education, vocational training, and a willingness to work. The gentleman on the far right of this picture is Superintendent Robinson, who had once been principal of HHS. Here we can see Coast Guard recruiters in the auditorium, and this is a parade in downtown Tampa. War bond sales continued at HHS. The closing sales amount was $30,000, which allowing for inflation in 2020 would be over $400,000. This allows for the purchase of a pilot training plane. And on the instrument panel of that plane, there would be a plaque with the name of Hillsborough High School. The following pictures are a great insight as to how your books were made at this time. At the end of the yearbook, Terry the Terrier decides to join the military. Shortly after the June class graduated, the D-Day invasion would occur in France. Sadly, over the course of the school year, famed architect F.J. Kennard, who had designed the Big Red, passed away. The following is extremely rare footage from 1944. The first thing we notice is that there are no clocks in the tower yet. This is footage of a terrier with guests from Jacksonville there by the cornerstone. Now they are in the entranceway below the clock tower, and they are going to walk around the corner to the section that later terriers would call the dungeons, in front of the auditorium.
This is Spalding Fountain, which was located just north of the auditorium. Just as this rare footage is ending, this video must also end. Please subscribe to this channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos. Take care of yourselves and go Big Red.